All right, guys, so I went on Fiverr.com and I want to see what would happen if I was looking for a new logo, okay? And I went to a designer that charges $5 a logo all the way up to $100 a logo, which is honestly the, the cheapest range I can pretty much find. I want to do like a cheap version, then we'll do a more expensive version if you guys like the videos, of course. But like, honestly, $100 for a logo is really cheap. $5 a logo is like, what's the word for it? What's cheaper than cheap? I don't know, but that's just that's just crazy. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys enjoy the idea and just maybe like maybe like Fiverr is for you somehow and then you want to find a simple concept to use for a future client. Regardless, I hope you guys do enjoy the video and kind of just look at my this is I've never seen these yet. So hopefully you guys just get like a first impression of just a general idea of what Fiverr can offer maybe and then just we go from there and just, just let me know if you guys want an expensive version of this. And uh, yeah, that's all I got. Let's start this out. Five dollars, hundred dollar logos. Let's see what Sesame HQ brand looks like. I gave them all the same brief and uh, it's it's pretty simple brief. I just gave them an idea of like, hey, I kind of want you to just do what you want to do. My name starts with an S. It's Sesame HQ. And we go from there. Let's see what happens. All right, guys. So what we're gonna be looking at first is the five dollar logo designs, and it's on. It's I got four concepts for five dollars. If I'm that's some that is prime. That is some prime uh, usage of your money. I think. Uh, and regardless, though, if we're being honest, okay. Now I've seen these because they didn't give me a PDF, unfortunately, to like kind of like hide it. But uh, this is the. This is, this is, it's not bad at all. Like, if we're being honest here, this one over here is a little bit kind of like, like, it, it's not in my realm. I, I kind of get the idea of this exploration between like fills and non fills. It's kind of fun. Um, it's just not me, but also the S's themselves look like eights, and it's not like, I, I don't want that kind of, you know, disruption in my logo. But if we go over here, I def, I've, uh, this is also kind of cool, very simple, very laid back. But one thing I get the most, and unfortunately, it's like people think my name is CISO, it's SESO, it's SE. So, okay, se, so, so this would make my life living hell, so I'm not gonna go with this one, but it's also pretty cool, I mean, for the record, for like five dollars, why not, right? But this over here, okay, now we're getting kind of creative and fun here. For five dollars, I got a monogram logo, which is actually pretty cool, given the fact that it kind of looks more like a diamond shape, but you can obviously see the S, but if you want to like kind of, you know, say to ourselves, we can kind of fill these spots in over here and over here, it can might be probably read a little bit better than the S, but honestly, that's, I'm... I'm okay with this. Like this, if, if this is what I had to go with for like a five dollar logo really quickly, I would say yes. This one over here is kind of fun too. I think the the typography choice is a little bit awkward given the actual contrast of the actual icon logo. However, this is honestly pretty cool too, right? It, it's it's very abstract in a way, but you can kind of tell it has a bit of an S feature. I do think this like middle piece here is like a little bit like, you know, it's not really necessary, but it's kind of like it's. I get it, but it's not. Yeah, you know. But honestly. If I, were, I would be really generally pleased and by the way I asked for no revisions on any of these logos so I could have asked for revisions and be like you know probably made it a little more better um regardless though like if I'm being serious five dollars for this is honestly a, is like the prime like I'm not disappointed whatsoever and honestly the one right here this is my winner right here and I think it looks pretty dope so I don't know about you guys but five dollars I'll take it all right guys so up next is the $15 order and this is my first time seriously just seeing I literally if you want to show the clip of me dragging it in for a quick second oh oh okay this is my first time seeing all of these honestly this is freaking sick this is honestly honestly this is kind of cool like right here this is kind of fresh I like it's it's kind of fun it's kind of bubbly it's kind of like playful obviously given the big old play button but like i'm not i'm not mad at 15 15 to get a really cool sick concept given the fact that this piece right here can kind of be negative space as well you can make it black and white make it look kind of cool and just not so like of course in color all the time but that's so sick it's a very organic fun s which i also kind of asked for this really fun how do you say creative or abstract but not like aggressive edgy abstract Honestly, he, he kind of hit, or he or she, I don't really know who it was, but they kind of hit the nail on this. Like, I really, I genuinely think that is super cool. And the type choice, I think, is a little bit kind of like, you know, very company-wide and kind of feels very company. But the icon itself, if I was doing some kind of like uh, Sesso Shorts logo or Sesso Shorts branding, that could be it. Like, honestly, I, possibility. Over here, though, is another different kind of idea. I, I, I'm trying to read this in like a uh, okay. It's a play button again So it's another play button on top of the s and like a little bit of a uh, negative spacing filled in with these little kind of like rectangles But I think it's a little bit too busy um, Doesn't really read well for me, but I like the idea I like the concept and I only got one for this one But regardless, 
honestly the one that i got it i'm i'm actually pretty happy for 15 dollars they delivered this by the way in like three hours by the way so they did it pretty quick um i don't think i like s's on standby or not <laughs> like I, i'm not really sure if they kind of like just take random s's that they have in their sketchbook and just like throw it on and give it to me and but I, who knows regardless a really quick turnaround for 15 dollars i'm not disappointed i kind of like it and it's kind of fun it's kind of a vibe so i would say the 15 dollar one is like a really pro honestly the cheap ones are doing well for me i'm not gonna lie so let's say these are good all right so for the 30 dollar logo design i actually got three different concepts and i also got some mock-ups so I obviously I put these in Photoshop literally 10 seconds ago. So I already got a little bit of an idea, spoiled it for myself just a little bit. However, for $30, I get three concepts, right? A little bit of mock-ups to kind of show, even though the mock-ups themselves are not that crazy. This is the first concept right here, right? Then you have this one over here, which is also kind of fun and bubbly and, and, and yeah, yeah, you know, and then we have this one over here. It's kind of cool. Okay, so like if we were to even give this one for an example, <sighs> hmm. I feel like it's cool, but it's not, it's doesn't even, it doesn't even come close to representing me. Whether or not I didn't give them much to even talk about. So I can't really say like, oh, it doesn't represent me, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's $30 logo. But if I'm being honest, the $15 and the $5 concept for me kind of hit the vibe a little bit better from the brief that I gave earlier, a lot better period i think that's how i want to say it and like i see this concept over here this is a way too bubbly way too kind of fun almost kid like very playful i also said it in the actual brief i said teens it's for teens and older or younger adults and this looks like it's <laughs> like what <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry i mean it's just not <laughs> You know, it reminds me of that, like, that one kid that plays with toys on YouTube and, like, gets millions of dollars. You know what I mean? Like, it, I, there's no universe. Some teenagers going to be like, this is the coolest logo ever. You know what I mean? So, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of this one. But this one over here is pretty simple, pretty fun. I actually probably had a logo pretty similar to this back in the past. So, I'm, it's not, like, it's not off the wrong concept. But I get the tech vibe. I get the fun, cool vibe. Um, but the font itself is kind of, like, it's kind of whatever. But it's also not bad. So, I'm, I'm on the fence with the $30 one. I don't know if this guy did it for me more than even the five or $15 people, but to be honest, it's okay. It's not bad. I, I enjoy it enough. I think the best concept I like is the one that kind of like has like a bit of that, like, you know, uh, monochromatic feel to it or not monochromatic. The, what do you call it? The monogram concept, which is kind of like, it's kind of, it's whatever it works. In my opinion, it's not as good as the 15 and five one. I'm going to say, we're going to leave my opinions there. All right, guys. So for the next artist, we have the $50 logo and I, I I got the PDF open immediately. This is actually super sick. Honestly, it's kind of like a vibe of my current logo that I have right now. It's kind of, he probably like Googled Sesame HQ. I feel like no one else Googled right now so far besides this guy. So this guy did a little more research for $50, so I can appreciate that. But like, yo, it's actually a really cool rendition or how do you say a modernized fun take on it. It's not, it's not awful. It's, it's not bad at all. It's kind of fun. It's kind of dope. I will say like the typography choice is a little bit kind of wacky though. It's kind of like the E is just a little bit awkward on its own island. Nothing else has that kind of like, it kind of almost takes away from the actual S. It looks like we're kind of saying like S equals soic. You know what I mean? Like you get it? Like it doesn't feel or read right. So I'm going to say no to the E, the typography choice, but the logo, the icon itself though, okay it's kind of fun i don't have no other words besides it's kind of fun i only got one in concept unfortunately for this guy of course he did offer like four or five different revisions but i didn't ask for any revisions to make it super fair for everybody but yeah this is this guy did this guy did some homework i can appreciate it i'm okay with this like for a 50 dollar logo i'm okay with this i'm wondering though what would have happened if he didn't google me and figure out my logo already but I don't know. I like it. We're going to go with it. And then I want to say, I'll, I'll give him a, I'll give him a thumbs up. We're good. We're good. All right. So up oh, now. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet, but this is the $100 logo. I'm just like at the point where I'm like, the $50 was really good. The $5 was really good. The $15 was really good. I'm just really hoping that this guy didn't fumble the bag in front of everybody. That's all I'm hoping for. So let's open this thing up. I got a PDF file. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Okay. That was like, <laughs> that was like first impression. Um, let me get a look. I mean, this, it's kind of cool, right? That one's kind of fun. This is kind of dope too. Okay. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay. I see the vision for this guy. Okay. Oh, it's a pencil. Gotcha. The S there's a pencil right here. A pencil right here. Artist pencil. I like that. The red and blue make purple. Right? Yeah. Why did I think that wasn't right for a second? <laughs> but it's kind of fun. It's a little bit too kiddish or like maybe like too illustrator heavy. I'm not like an artist per se, like actual handwritten drawings, 
but not a bad take for it. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, it's not bad at all. Now, this second one here, which is kind of like this S play. Why is everyone doing like a play logo? I feel I just realized everyone's doing a play logo. I did say YouTube, so remember, like they probably put the play logo into like the idea of YouTube, which I can appreciate a little bit. Um, but like given the fact that if I'm not on YouTube though, what if I'm like on TikTok, it's probably not the best thing I to like kind of like hyper focus on. However, though, can I can I really see an S here? No. <laughs> I mean, I can't quite see the S. I get the idea of the vision. There should be one here. Like, if I kind of trace it for you guys, right? It's a little abstract, you know? So, I, the typography choice, though, is actually pretty solid. I like the idea of, like, the lowercase sesso and then, like, bigger uh, uppercase HQ. I can appreciate that. Then we have this third one concept here, which is kind of like this, like... <sighs> It looks like an eight or like I was looking at the diamonds. I was like, is it a hexagon? Is it like a stop sign? What's happening? Um, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be funny. Okay. It, well, maybe I am. It was probably like a more like fold out S. He like split it in half and then kind of like kind of moved it around. And, and now unfortunately it looks like an eight, which is not the best idea, but like, it's okay. It's not bad. I'm not like that mad about it, but for a hundred dollars, I'm like a little bit, can I get mock-ups at least? Um, okay. So the fourth one. It's probably my favorite one, right? Am I, am I gonna say that? Am I gonna say that? I think the fourth one's my favorite one. It's very YouTube, like, of course, like, it's very heavily, unfortunately, YouTube because the actual, uh, the play button. However, the pencil and, like, the YouTube play button is actually a pretty cool, like, interlocking idea, but I do feel like there's no way in hell I'm the only person who has this concept on Fiverr. He has, like, 4,000 orders. I'm really hoping I'm the only one because if, if this is original concept, I'm going to enjoy it. But it's not bad. It's not overall feeling as I got some pretty cool concepts. He offered a lot of revisions as well. So, of course, I could go back into it and be like, hey, I kind of fix this and that or this. But this is not what I'm going for. I'm going for first impressions, first tries, which is not very fair. But to say, you know, it's the idea, right? So, is it fair to say that I'm a little bit upset that I didn't get mock-ups though? Like for a hundred dollars, for a hundred dollars, I didn't even get mock-ups. I have to look at it like this. There's a pretty cool layout, but I would love to see it like on a YouTube banner or just anything the bare bare minimum. See it on my YouTube channel so I can actually envision the idea of me having the branding. This is for logo artists around the entire world. If you can offer 10, 10 five minutes of your time to kind of take wherever the logo's gonna be like be at and like make a little mock-up of it, you're probably gonna sell or be more appreciated from the actual client way more. So I'm just gonna say that's all I got. Overall though, I think a pretty good idea of this tier list i'm gonna put up for you guys it's, it's kind of like I, I like the idea of these logos themselves but they could have been and they could you know honestly most of them are pretty good for like a first pass for less than a hundred dollars it's honestly really really good so i'm gonna get you like a, a nice tier list to look at but anyway you guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think the actual best one is whether it's designer one designer two designer three designer four designer five and then just let me know so with that being said that is it for me today i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys get like an idea of maybe like maybe fiverr is where you want to go before you go to that like thousand dollar client you go to fiverr and get this five dollar person this honestly is incredible that i got four different counts for five dollars and then like maybe like go with a lot of these guys and then get like a whole vision or idea what your lower clients on fiverr and then go to the big guy that way you have a more clear idea of what you want eh that's all it's yeah, that's a pretty good idea. So, with that being said, it's Sesso HQ out. Remember, get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, and I'll talk to you guys later. If you guys are Fiverr artists, you guys are doing a great job. You guys hold the community together. Thank you very much for doing so, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. So I got.